I think Hudson Prince is, uh, first of all, well batted today, a fifth half century of the season. It's uh, an area of your game that you must be delighted with. No, yeah, it's obviously going well at the moment. Um, Come into the season, hadn't had a sort of year where I'd strung it together consistently, so obviously it's nice to do that. Um, it's obviously disappointing today to only bat for four or five overs this morning when we thought we could push on and try and get 450 and maybe towards 500, but um, yeah, here we are. We'll talk about that in a moment. Just coming back to yourself, because I guess the, the, the all-rounder spot in the side was sort of up for grabs at the beginning of the season, but as they say in horrible football term, you've got the shirt. And, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously happy with how it's going. I'd like to be taking more wickets and contributing more to the ball at the moment, but as long as the batting's sort of going, going well, it's sort of nice to be able to contribute in both assets of the game, and hopefully it continues like that. You've had a bit of a niggly injury. Is that affecting the, your bowling at all, Finn? No, not at all. Um, obviously, I've had a problem with my Achilles for a couple of years now. It's just a slow burner. It always seems to happen, but no, I haven't had any, any issues that are stopping me from bowling well. It's just one of those things. Sometimes you go up and down with form. Um, can happen and a bit of confidence from the T20s probably as well, not going as well as I would have liked. So, yeah, it's nice to get the red ball back in the hand and trying to run and hit top off stump without worrying about people smacking you out of the ground. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the game. You, you spoke about this morning. Does, does it feel a little bit like a missed opportunity from 150 without loss, Finn? Uh, it does a little bit. Um, from my perspective, I think, obviously, as you said, 150 without loss at lunch on day one to get bowled out for 400 again. Even this morning, we were 370 for seven. Um, with genuine batters at 9, 10, 11. Um, so again, to lose three quick wickets this morning was a bit of a shame, um, especially because it would have obviously taken more overs into their legs and kept them out there for a bit longer. But obviously for us as well, wanting to get maximum batting points and then push on a little bit further, trying to get more wear and tear into the wicket. So yeah, it was a little bit disappointing, but that's the game. Sometimes it happens. Um, and yeah, we, we managed to get out there and bowl quite nicely in that first session anyway. Um, so in a way it was, I mean, yeah, it's how it goes. You, you lose a couple of wickets early, but then you get opportunity to bowl in the morning session. How difficult is it when you're bowling defending a relatively short edge that we've got here this week? Um, in red ball cricket, I don't think people really tend to think about it too much. I think obviously in white ball it's tough, but red ball, I mean, you're, you're trying to hit the top of off stump as much as you can. And if people want to take you off that and hit you to a short side, then so be it. It's, it's a risk if you take it off the stumps. and. I mean, if you want to go that way as a batter, then fair enough to you. But I think in red ball cricket, it's not really too much to think about. You know the Derbyshire lads well. What have they had to say to you this week? Um, just general catch-ups. I haven't seen a lot of them for since last summer when they, they were here. Um, so, yeah, just chatting to them, catching up, saying hello. I'm actually going out for dinner with a couple of them this evening. So, um, yeah, hopefully just have a nice chat and talk about how we're going to get them out tomorrow. And how are you going to go about that? How do you see this game going now? Two, you know, two days to go. Um, it's, it's a strange one. I think we've had another missed opportunity this evening. I think um, with the lights on for the majority of that afternoon session, I don't think we bowled particularly well. Um, I think we could have gotten at least halfway five down um, in those conditions. But again, as I've said before, that's that's the game. Um, we've got to bounce back in the morning and take early wickets if you want to push for a victory. Um, it always does a little bit in the morning at Hove. It always zip, zips around a little bit in that first hour. So hopefully we can make the most of that. A final question, just picking up on that, you said missed opportunity. It's something that Paul Farbrace has said quite a lot this season with games that Sussex have you know, missed opportunities. What, what do the side need to do to make sure they capitalise when those chances come round, Finn? It's one of those things, a little bit of inexperience in the squad, like those moments that you sort of see in the game which are very important and we don't seem to be taking them at the moment. Um, maybe that comes with the habit of winning games and knowing when those moments are, but also if you've played multiple games of first-class cricket, you get into those moments more and you win more of them. Um, at the moment we're, we're pretty inexperienced so sometimes the lads don't really seize those moments or know when they are it's no excuse we should be doing better than that um, but maybe that's the reason why that's the only thing I can think of but as I said before it's no excuse we should be seizing those those moments like today as I said great opportunity there with the lights on for the afternoon session and we didn't really take take advantage of it